In this session, we are going to discuss about ThingWorks Studio Architecture Overview. So the agenda of this session is we are going to discuss about the components involved in the ThingWorks Studio environment, the architecture overview of the components involved, the supported devices for the end user and also the resources for learning and exploring about the product. Let us look into the components involved in the th ThingWorks Studio augmented reality environment. So we can take an analogy of Earth's physical geography and relate it to our ThingWorks augmented reality environment. Likewise, the Earth has the core, mantle and crust. The ThingWorks augmented reality world has the component the ThingWorks platform as the ThingWorks core which provides the augmented reality with the real world IoT data. We also have the experience service which is developed on Node.js platform which acts as the driving force in the background. So basically it stores all the program project files, uh, creates a connection with ThingWorks platform etc. And we also provide a ThingWorks Studio application which is a nice user interface for creating augmented reality experiences. So the application is more of drag and drop. We can we also provide for uh, scripting and styling using AngularJS and CSS styling. Ultimately, we have uh, the nice ThingWorks View application, which is an experience viewer for viewing our augmented reality projects. So likewise, uh, we look we look up for the beautiful outer layer of the earth. The end user is going to view the augmented reality experiences using the ThingWorks View app, be it iOS platform or Android platform or even the HoloLens uh, device. So we also have uh, an application called Creo Illustrate for 3D modeling and animation sequences. So for many of you who are following the PTC augmented reality demos, you might be familiar with this uh, Caterpillar 3D model. So this 3D model and the related animation sequences are created using this application called Creo Illustrate, which is again a PTC application for creating 3D models and sequences. Let us jump into the architecture of the product. So as mentioned in the previous slide, we saw the components involved in the ThingWorks Studio environment. So now let us look into the technicalities involved between these components. From the perspective of the augmented reality developer, using the ThingWorks Studio, uh, he can create an augmented reality, nice augmented uh, reality and 2D projects. So the ThingWorks Studio provides a good user-friendly interface with all the widgets, styling, binding with ThingWorks data, and also uh, provision for AngularJS coding and CSS scripting. So once we, once a developer creates a project in ThingWorks Studio and publishes the project, the project the published project gets compressed as a zip file and uh, subsequently this zip file is pushed to the experience service. Similarly, if there is uh, IoT data from ThingWorks platform, so that data from ThingWorks platform is captured by the experience service and then time and again the data is transmitted to ThingWorks Studio and the ThingWorks View application. From the perspective of thing uh, end user once the end user using the pre-installed thingworks view app be it in ipad tablet or in hololens devices scans the thing mark and the view app that is sitting in here sitting in that ipad sends that thing mark id to the experience service for validation and upon successful validation the experience service binds the id with its corresponding data that is the corresponding project and sends that experience 
to the view application i mean the thing works view application and the thing works view application is going to display the augmented reality experience well um, we all know the power of thing works platform in modeling the iot data and here in this uh, session we are not going to discuss in detail about the thing works architecture but let us look into the greater details about the experience service so in regard to the experience service as noted previously the experience service is built on node.js platform by default the experience service has a database SQLite. Apart from the database, uh, the experience service has the modules uh, GXI which is Global Experience Index, uh, CDS, Content Delivery Service and we also have a provision for creating WebSocket connection. So technically the GXI has GXI as a Global Experience Index has uh, registered IDs to validate uh, specific thing marks or a set of thing marks and coming to CDS which is content delivery service so the CDS stores all the uh, experience project related files so let us um, let us go ahead and look into the details of uh, the experience service so upon successful scanning of the thing mark, the domain ID, the information which is stored in the thing mark is validated by the GXI and the related project files are identified and in turn transferred to the view application where we view the experience in an iPhone or iPad or whatever device we use. So basically the details of like, you know, how the thing mark is designed and what are the what what the domain ID information and all the details will be discussed in a separate document and now let us go to the next component so upon successful publish from I mean upon successful publish of the experience from Thingwork Studio the project files are sent to the are sent directly to the CDS the content delivery service and stored within the CDS so this CDS is nothing but like you know it's a kind of database where all the project files are stored right in here so technically uh, the CDS the requests are handled ba uh, based on the rest uh, rest calls like put request or push request or get and delete request so in case if in case uh, the studio project involves IOT data so the connection request is made through the experience service as a WebSocket connection and eventually uh, the ThingWorks data and services are retrieved from the ThingWorks platform. So this is how, like you know, uh, we get the data from ThingWorks core, that is ThingWorks platform, create a connection between the experience service and ThingWorks platform, and trans transfer the data to ThingWorks Studio and subsequently the uh, ThingWorks View app for viewing the experience. And now let us look into the supported devices. So the supported devices for viewing the experiences are the devices that support uh, the iOS, Android, and the Windows Phone applications and we also support HoloLens devices. And for, for the people who are curious to learn about the ThinkWorks Studio and explore its usage so we have a huge set of uh, tutorial videos 
in regard to the thing work studio application and its usage and uh, you know how to uh, maneuver between widgets uh, thing works binding etc kind of thing we also have a huge set of uh, knowledge base which is open to all the ptc users so once you are stuck at some point uh, like using thing work studio application or the exper creating experiences uh, we also have a nice response to a studio community forum where you can post uh, for questions and uh, you can expect uh, quick responses so yeah this is about thing work studio architecture overview i hope you make great use of this information and uh, yeah thank you